Hi folks, Mike Schramke with Larry Stove Sand Equipment, America's largest selling coyote dealer and Tennessee's only five paw premier dealer. Uh, this is the middle of January 2021 and um, I was just thinking, I was, I was talking to a customer on the phone that was buying a, a CK2610 and deciding if he needed a finishing mower or a rotary cutter. Uh, rotary cutters go by many names depending on where you live. Rotary cutter, bush hog, topper, brush hog, uh, and on and on, but you get the idea. Finishing mower is a finishing mower. And uh, I thought it'd be a cool time to uh, make a video and maybe demonstrate both and one more. Something that is um, gaining a lot in popularity, and that's the flail mower. Flail, F-L-A-I-L. Um, the flail mower, which I'll demonstrate as well, is a, uh, it, it spins a horizontal drum and uh, on the drum are attached what are called hammers and they're cutters and there's a there's a jillion of them and it spins at a, a very high rate of speed and the coolest thing about a flail mower is it uh, it kind of cuts almost as good as a finishing mower and it cuts brush almost as good as a rotary cutter uh, it'll cut up to an inch and a half thick brush so you could easily uh, go through any briars, brambles, uh, tall grass, whatever, and, uh, and cut that. So oftentimes I, I recommend to people that kind of need a finishing mower, uh, but they, they sh really should buy a rotary cutter because finishing mowers are just that. They're, they're strictly for cutting grass and uh, anything more than that and, and you'll damage the blades or you know it's it's made strictly to for yard work to cut the grass and a rotary cutter will run through about anything but it doesn't leave you know much of a finish look to it which is fine when you're doing pastures and whatnot but so i took uh i've got three ck 2610s one with a five foot finishing mower one with a five foot rotary cutter and one with a five foot flail mower and uh, let's take them to the field next to the building. The grass isn't uh, very high. I wish there was a little bit more to it, but I think I can give you a pretty good, pretty good idea of the, uh, the finished product of, uh, of each. So let's take a look. All right, guys, here we are on our side lot, and we've got all three machines out here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to run a couple passes with each one of these machines, kind of show you how they cut. Uh, Mike's gonna start with the finished mower, and here we go. Well, there you go. As you can see, that's a finished mower. Cuts just like a lawnmower does. Up next is going to be the rotary cutter. Okay, this is the Titan 1205 five foot rotary cutter. Now this guy here will do an inch and a half, uh, two inch saplings. And this is for your rough cut, cutting your pastures that haven't been cut in a while.
All right, so there's your five foot rotary cutter, rough cut. And there's kind of a side by side comparison. Rotary cutter, finish mower. Not as clean, but does get the job done. All right, last but not least, this is the Titan FL165 flail mower. Now, before he starts, I want to show you one thing we forgot to mention earlier. You'll notice that the flail mower itself is offset. So on the right-hand side of the tractor, you do have a little, little bit of an overhang. So if you've got fence rows to go underneath, this helps you out in that aspect. And there it is guys as i showed you a close up there um, what that machine is actually doing is actually holding the material inside that cavity for a short period of time and kind of letting it mulch it mulch things up and drops it right where it rolls over it so as you can tell it does a pretty good job that's your flail mower that's your rotary cutter okay that cuts better than i thought And that's your finish mower. If you got any questions, guys, please let us know. All right, so kind of a cool demonstration. Um, surprising how, how well each of them cut, and they each did uh, exactly what they were supposed to. One thing that we forgot to mention on the flail mowers, um, if you have need for one that uh, horizontal, uh, hydraulically slides to the side and that would be handy if you uh, for example had an orchard wanted to get under trees or it's kind of just nice for getting closer to fence rows without getting the tractor so close um, they do make a hydraulic slide model and if your tractor has rear hydraulic remotes you can get the hydraulic slide and it'll it'll slide one foot offset and uh, I'll superimpose a picture of the one we just used and if you notice here it is offset as well so it's kind of cool if you were going along a building or a fence row um, it keeps the tractor away it keeps the loader away it um, allows you to you know uh, be able to just to uh, look to your right and uh, you'll see that it's offset. It's easier to stick close to stuff. Um, all three have a definite purpose and uh, they don't work for everybody, but it's, those are the three types of cutters, the rotary cutter, the finish mower, and the flail mower. Again, my name's Mike Schramke with Larry Stove Sand Equipment. Do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the subscribe button. I'd be truly appreciative. And uh, I'll, I think the next video I will do will be uh, the different types of box scrapers. Um, that'd be kind of a fun one. I've been thinking about that too. So anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the box. Thank you. <laughs>